how to efficiently use this. What you need to do is you get, I would say, an average of three paintballs from the paint that you're going to be using that day. And uh, it doesn't matter if you use it in the past or whatever, that day is what really matters or the night before. You take the paint and you're going to test it going through your little insert. And uh, there's different rules of thumb to remember. First of all, you stick it in the way it's going to go from the gun, from the beveled end, sorry, from the beveled end, the, the, out, the same way it's going to go from into your gun, out, people's faces. So you take your paintballs, you take three random ones, like I said, and you're going to take them and test them fitting into the barrel. Now, I've already cheated and picked out the one that's, you know, going to work right, and what you'll see is you can take it and slide it into the beveled end and as you roll it, this part you can't see, it uh, it's wedged in there about this spot. Okay, You don't want it to get stuck here, you don't want it to roll cleanly through. Rolls cleanly through, you have the same issue that I was explaining before where the uh, basically the air is just going to shoot around your paintball and it will push it out of the paint or out of the barrel because of the force of the air but it's going to be going around it and it's not going to be as accurate as a good chance you're going to get some spin on it if you have it too tight and it won't even stick on that end then you're going to deal with chopping now most of you that buy cheap guns don't know how to load them don't know what to do to uh, effectively use a gun you're already going to deal with chopping issues. You don't want to add to it by trying to do this. If you do this right, this will eliminate one of the things to worry about with chopping. So put it in there, and it's actually kind of free moving. Um, you can look. It's not totally vital. Some of the people say to use the light test. And what you can do is you can look at it, and you can just barely see a sliver of light. Um, that's okay. You don't want to see more or less. Um, I wouldn't go by that. Sometimes you can see light, sometimes you can't. What you need to do is the blow test. Um, I find this is the most effective. And what you do is you stick it in that end, put your mouth on it, cup the other side so you don't shoot it into your plasma screen, and you blow. Now, I don't know how well that sound comes through, but that's basically the sound you want to hear. Is You get kind of a, uh, a release sound so it comes out. Um, and uh, it has to have a little bit of force. The whole concept between any type of projectile shooting out of a gun or a barrel is that it's slightly tight and then it releases. Um, you don't want it to get super tight. You don't want to be sitting there, <laughs> you know, your cheeks coming out and it's forcing you have to use a pencil or something to stick it through, um, which you will have to do in the testing process unless you get it perfect the first time. Um, and then you're going to do that with multiple paintballs. I said, you know, about three is a pretty good number. And you basically want to test them all and that's what you don't want to have. Now, that actually isn't a result of the barrel being, um, or the paint not fit, uh, fitting right. It did fit before. That's a result of actually touching the paint a lot um, and uh, me messing with it before the video started. It'll get kind of sticky. You'll get residue um, from your breath blowing into it on in the barrel, which will actually stick a little bit. And it's actually not horrible if it won't stick, shoot all the way through, because obviously your gun with the air pressure is going to have more pressure than my mouth. I hope I haven't confused you. But, okay, there it still came out um, just by the power of my mouth. Um, and that's basically it. You want it to be able to go through and do that. Uh, I'll show you what happens if you use some other sizes, um, other bore sizes. Uh, just as an example, I'll use the extremes of all of these. Uh, this is a, a 682, which is the smallest that comes with the full um, freak set. Put it on there, you get that. You don't want that. And I'm not going to, well, that kind of counter what I was going to tell you guys. But, yeah, that's pretty stuck. You don't want that. You want to be able to have it just drop in and then stop somewhere in here. You also don't want to have to deal with this. Paintball on the floor that someone's going to step on later. You don't want it to... I am really handicapped. Okay, let's try this again. And now I've touched it so much that it's sticking. 
as you saw with the other ones, is that it just falls through, comes out the bottom without helping at all, honestly. Okay. Great instructional video, I can't even do it right. Basically, like I said, touching the paintball and getting it sticky, you can't tell. Um, eventually it's going to stick on the inside of your barrel and uh, kind of mess it up. So you want to get fresh paint, don't let your fingers get all the residue on the paintballs. And simply put, you don't want it to fall all the way through, you don't want it to stick on top, you want it to slide in and then with a um, good blow, you want it to have force coming out of the end of your freak. I think that is pretty much it. Um, it's good to remember that uh, obviously your mouth and your gun are not exactly the same and the concept of a barrel is that you want it to squeeze the uh, paintball slightly enough to close off the air so it has to force it out and get some pressure as it's releasing. So if your mouth can do it then there's a good chance that you can maybe bore it down just to size and your gun will make up the difference and shoot out what you couldn't do with your mouth. Um, nothing is better than actually sticking or uh, sticking the insert in, hooking up your barrel, and actually firing the paint with your gun with the air at a target. That is the best way you're going to see if it's really accurate. You can do the best you can at home, sticking it in like I just explained, and uh, you know doing your best. But the most effective way is going to be real gun, real scenario, with all of the uh, different. Uh, issues you're going to deal with with that day. Um, I think that's basically it. I hope that was helpful. I am more than willing to answer questions online. Uh, you know, just send it to my YouTube, comment. Um, hey, if you haters or anything like that, feel free to say whatever you want. I'm very open-minded. I'll take anything you got. Um, and you might hurt my feel-bads. No, I really don't care. Uh, also, stuff behind me, that's just what was on the wall. I didn't put that up there to impress anybody because that's not me. So, um, plus my bike's a lot sexier. It's black. <laughs> anyway, all right. Thanks, guys. Uh, like I said, again, I hope it was helpful. I've never done this before. I did this simply because I would hate to look on YouTube and not find what I just gave you guys. So, have a great time. Shoot faces.